Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to another edition of our Listen to the Mrs. podcast from the studios of WSGW Radio in Saginaw, Michigan. I'm Art Lewis. I'm Ann Williams. And nice to be with you on the podcast today. Lots to take a look at. Uh, some new food items and recipe. But uh, we're going to dispel some outrageous <laughs> Food facts mm-hmm. that you probably never thought of, and you'll hear us talk about it, and you'll probably never think about it again, but that's all right. <laughs> so we both pulled uh, a few food facts off this list, and I found them interesting. Mm-hmm. For example, did you know cheese is not the most popular pizza topping? No, I didn't know that. I what would have is? thought cheese would be. Yeah, you would, you would think. Well... According to this, pepperoni is first, then mushrooms, then onions, then sausage make up the most popular toppings on pizza. Hmm. I would have thought cheese because how do you have pizza without cheese? You kind of need you know, cheese yeah. on a pizza, I think. You know, I can understand red sauce, for example. Not all pizzas have it. Right. But everybody uses cheese. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. But apparently not. Pepperoni, the most popular topping okay what's on yours well uh did you know that oreo cookies are not vegan you would think they would be because yeah there's no meat product in it you don't think there is anyway no. but apparently there is because um they possibly could when they're being manufactured could come into contact with milk during production oh dairy um so there's no milk or eggs listed in the ingredient list but the factory i guess where they're made there could be some milk products in there, so that's why they don't Isn't list it as vegan. It, that's interesting. I never would have thought of that. I never would have thought of that at all. But I, I don't know much about veganism, though. Mm. Um, oh, <laughs> I know a lot about this one, though. Do you know that Americans eat... You better be sitting down for this, folks. Americans eat nearly 2,000 pounds of food per year. The average and person, huh? The average person, 2,000 pounds. Now, here's the point that you really have to think about. 273 of those pounds are fruit. 415 of those pounds are veggies. So that's 688. Hmm. What are the other 1,312 pounds? Because hmm. <laughs> they're not fruit and vegetables. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. I give you give you a little pause for thought there. Well, I'm glad it doesn't all, you know, metabolize at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we have time to burn it up. Obviously. Um, well, how about? Did you know that rhubarb? It is a really fast growing plant. It grows so fast, an inch a day, that scientists say you can actually hear it. Growing. You can hear you it. You can hear it creak and pop as it gets bigger. Really? Scientists say. That growing forced rhubarb makes it sweeter, which is why the stocky plant stars in so many uh, favorite spring and summer dishes. But yeah, you can, I guess if you sit patiently and listen, you might hear something. <laughs> I'd have to be pretty have bored. have to try that out. you have to be bored, yeah. You'd yeah. be pretty bored to, to uh, test that. But. All right, well, let's talk about something else that grows. Let's mm-hmm. talk about uh, berries. Let me give you a list of three, all right? Mm-hmm. Watermelons, bananas, strawberries, okay? Mm-hmm. Those are three, right? Mm-hmm. Which one is not a berry? I would say the watermelon is not a berry. You would say the watermelon. Yeah. And I might have looked at it and said the banana. The answer is the strawberry is not a berry. What? Yep, because... Well, that just shatters every well, notion I ever had. Yeah, I know that, but here's the reason, all right? A berry is defined as having an outer skin, a fleshy middle, and internal seeds. So a watermelon a is a berry? Yeah, because it has an outer skin. It wow. has a fleshy part and the seeds. Wow. Now, I don't get the banana because they say the banana is part of that. It has an outer skin. It has a fleshy middle. Are there seeds in the banana? I don't know. I maybe, don't see them, I but I know there's like little marks inside. Maybe, maybe, I maybe don't those know. are seeds. I but don't strawberries, because they have their seeds on the outside and don't have a skin per se, isn't that interesting? It's not considered Even a berry. Even though berry is in the name. Yeah. It's quite interesting. What's in a name, you know? Mm, yeah. All right. 
Well, how about this? Did you know that it's very rare to be bitten by a shark? People are afraid of it, sure. but it doesn't. More people die by falling coconuts. Oh, of course. Than they do <laughs> by sharks. Um, <laughs> they say that each year about 150 people are killed by falling coconuts. 150? Compared to, yeah, compared to only 10 by sharks. So I guess, you know, in countries where they grow, obviously, and people are out there, you could get one fall on your head. So be careful. Uh, yeah. If you're ever near a coconut tree. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, oh, here's a new product for you. Hmm. Aldi's, that wonderful discount chain that's growing up everywhere. Everybody, people love Aldi's. They do. Well, they have a lot of unique products that are theirs. And here's one that apparently some people are saying you want to throw in your cart immediately. Jalapeno popper breadsticks. Jalapeno popper mm-hmm. breadsticks. The take and bake jalapeno popper breadsticks. Hmm. Made with real cheese. Hmm. And uh, apparently uh, they're doing real well. Interesting. Yep. It's uh, Mama Cozy's Pizza Kitchen Jalapeno Papa Breadsticks. Mama Cozy, I guess the house brand or one of their brands. Interesting, though. Mm-hmm. It, uh, they're topped with spicy cream cheese sauce. Mozzarella cheese, spicy bacon, and jalapenos. All the goodness of a jalapeno popper, plus more carbs and, of course, bacon. Hmm. <laughs> so there you go. Next time you're in Aldi, something to look for. Well, uh, this is a really unusual product that Burger King is selling, actually overseas. Um, in New Zealand, they're selling something called a chip buddy, or like a chip buddy. It's a... Uh, sandwich with nothing but no meat in it, fries. The filling is fries. Really? It's um, a bunch of fries or chips, as the British people in the Commonwealth call them, between two buns, slathered in ketchup and mayo, and that's pretty much it. Apparently, the origin, though, is that there is something called a, a chip buddy or fry burger that... British people eat. It's a snack that that they eat sometimes. <laughs> uh, considered, of course, unorthodox by American standards, but they do eat French fry sandwiches, apparently. Oh. Or potatoes. <laughs> they, eat, they eat potatoes <laughs> with bread. I mean, that's just such well, overkill to yeah, me in the starch it area. <laughs> yeah, you might say that. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't know huh. if it's popular, but they're trying it out in New Zealand. Well, here's a little thing I picked up off of the website Delish. Mm. Uh, it's titled Hot Ones, The Game Show, premieres tonight. And it used to be a YouTube series, I guess. And what they had was uh, notables eating hot wings and trying to do things. You know, I, I don't know what the theme was. But anyway, uh, they say that the program is aptly titled Hot Ones, The Game Show. But it's going to be different from the YouTube counterpart. Now, the host is the same guy. Uh, First, we feast Sean Evans. He'll be sitting in a uh, big studio at the helm of a giant game show set, complete with flames. And uh, he won't be uh, eating the wings himself. He uh, says he's retired from that. And the differences don't stop there. The contestants are not celebrities but teams of normal people, and instead of answering personal questions, they'll be answering trivia questions. And from the looks of it, they won't be given any napkins, water, milk, or ice cream. And the results can be terrifying because they're eating these super hot wings. They will go through four rounds of trivia questions with the $25,000... And milkshakes as prizes. Uh, And it looks like the wings are even hotter than they were on the YouTube series. The hot sauces are a bit different from the ones featured on the YouTube series. Uh, And I guess what they have to do is answer questions, and if they get them wrong, they got to eat the wings? I don't know about that. (laughs) Jeez. I'm not sure I want to watch them burn their mouths up. No. Well, I mean, you're not a 
spicy fan anyway, really, right? No, no, not at, at all. all. I acquired a taste for it over the years, but uh, mm. I didn't when I was younger. Hmm. Not super hot, though. I like to still taste well, the Well, I've come around to a little bit of spice, mm -hmm. flavor, mm -hmm. undertone. Right. But not the kind of hit you in the face. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm never going to be good that, that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Well, um, ready for a recipe? Uh, well, let me get one more yeah, thing. Yeah, one more thing? Yeah. Birthday cake Kit Kats. Oh, I, th I think I saw something about well, that. Were they the white stores. chocolate on the outside? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Yeah. They're hitting the stores this April, and uh, the Kit Kat is a white birthday cake-looking Kit Kat, 200, 210 <laughs> calories, and they say limited edition. I, I can see that at a birthday party, a great well, little snack or something, you know. The birthday cake flavor, you see that in a lot of different products. More I think and it's more. kind of popular. Yeah, more and yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. So you have a recipe for us? Yeah, um, I thought I'd share. Uh, we have a lot of copycat recipes in our files. Oh, yeah. And this particular one, you know, a lot of people love uh, McDonald's biscuits. We actually have a recipe that is like uh, McDonald's biscuits called McFabulous Biscuits. Mm -hmm. So it's a quarter cup of 7-Up. That's the uh, oh, secret ingredient. The bubbly. Yeah, a quarter cup of 7-Up, a quarter cup of buttermilk, two cups of Bisquick, make it easy, and a dab of butter or margarine. And all you do is combine all those ingredients. Um, and then you're going to stir the mixture until it's smooth. Add enough Bisquick uh, more to knead the dough in the bowl until it's smooth and elastic. You want to shape that dough into six patties, about an inch thick and equal in size. Put those patties in a greased nine-inch round pan. You want to wipe each biscuit with butter, and then you bake them at 450 for 18 to 20 minutes or till golden mm. brown. Cool about 10 minutes and do what you will with them. So many sounds, things you can do with a good biscuit, right? Sounds like Make a the, sandwich yeah. out of it. Sounds like a recipe from the late Gloria Pitzer. Could be. Yeah. It doesn't say here, but mm -hmm. it could be. Copycat recipes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, listen, speaking of recipes and questions, if you have any for us, mm -hmm. uh, tell them how they can get a hold of us. Well, we have, uh, you can reach us through uh, the WSGW website. Uh, there is a tab for Listen to the Misses. You'll see our blog posts and things there when we post things. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. Just look for Listen to the Misses in Facebook. And you can also email us if you'd like us to do a recipe or you have any kind of other requests or ideas for show topics. Absolutely. And mine is Ann at WSGW.com. Mine is Art Lewis, A-R-T-L-E-W-I-S, at WSGW.com. Love to hear from you wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us on this Listen to the Misses podcast. From the studios of WSGW Radio in Saginaw, Michigan, I'm Art Lewis. I'm Ann Williams. See you next time.